Hello guys! Today I'm going to talk about arrays in VOPS. So I have this example with a little sphere that goes around here. So I'm going to make this sphere in the middle following this sphere but with a bit of a lag. And maybe not a super exciting example but I think it shows arrays in VOPS pretty well. So the first thing I'm going to drop down is the solver node and I want to get I want to change the position of this one, so I'm going to plug that into the first port, and I'm going to take the position from this one, and I'm going to plug that into the second port. So all these inputs here are updated on every frame, and this node here gives you the result of what happened in this node on the previous frame. First of all, there is one thing we have to take in consideration, and that is that on the first frame, we want the input from input 1, but for all the others, we want to have the previous value uh, so I'm going to drop down a switch here, and I've got to plug this in here, and plug this in here. And now because I have a switch, you can see when it's 0, I have this input, and when it's 1, I have this input. So to get it to just have this input on the first frame, I'm just going to type $f, which is the frame, and when this is 1, so see, on that frame, it's going to be 1, on all other frames, it's going to be 0. So that's the first thing, and then we're going to drop down uh, attribute VOP. So here's that. So first I'm going to plug in whatever comes out here in the first port, and then I'm going to take the second sphere and plug that into the second port. So let's go in here. I'm going to drop down a bind. I'm going to specify that this will be an, a vector array. I'm going to call this move, uh, and then to write to this array I'm going to do a bind export and I'm going to do a array and move here. So now I'm just getting the array and then I'm writing it back. But I obviously want to do something, so I'm going to drop down an append. So here's an append and I want the point positions of the second sphere. So I'm going to do an import point and as you may recall, I plug that into the second port. So I'm going to plug that in here and I'm going to take the point position and I'm going to add that on every frame. So if we go up now and look in this solver node, do a spreadsheet, you can see you can see we have this array that is building up. I obviously don't want an infinitely big array, so I need to limit this and I'm going to do that by dropping down a compare uh, and I'm going to take the size of the array, I'm going to do array length and I'm going to see if this array is bigger than... I'm going to put down 3 now. And I'm going to make it bigger later. And usually I would drop down a two-way switch here, but they don't work with arrays. So I'm going to drop down just the switch. The switch is just taking a number, and then you're going to take the input port of that number. So this first one is 0, the next one will be 1, and the next one after that will be 2. If this is not greater than 3, then I just want to plug this array in here, but if it's bigger, then I need to remove something from the array. So I'm going to take a remove index. By default, this will remove the item with index 0 in the array, and I'm happy with that, so I'm going to plug that into the second port, and this I'm going to write out to move. So we'll go up now, and I'm going to open this spreadsheet again. If we look here, we can see that it's just get to a certain length, and then it just keeps updating. So that is good, that's what I want. And now I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger again. So here I'm going to make this 6. And let's go outside. Now I'm going to drop down another attribute VOP. So here's that. Uh, and I'm going to plug this in here. And now I'm going to loop through this array. I'm going to drop down a bind. Uh, and I want to pick up my move. And to loop through this, I'm going to use an for each, for each. So here's that. I'm going to plug this array here in the first port. And the second one here is the current element of that iteration. And then you have the index. I'm going to create a vector that I'm going to add to. So I'm going to take this and plug into the next in. And then I'm going to plug this into the next in here. Because this needs to match. And by doing this, you can see that this, with this little blue dotted line, this is actually going back. So whatever you do in here will be remembered on the next iteration. And then so you can 
accumulate things. I gotta drop down and add, add on every frame. I want to add to this vector the current element, like so. And now I have a big vector coming out of here, so I need to divide that with the number of element in the array. So I'm gonna plug this into the first port, and I'm gonna take an array length. I'm gonna go, let's go to the move here. So I'm gonna take this, plug this into the length, and divide the vector with this. And now I can plug this into the point position, and then we're done. You see now, they are following each other with a bit of lag. And I, if I want more lag, I can go into the solver node and just up this compare here, Let's say maybe 20. And go back again. Now you can see the distance is even greater. So yeah, that is all. Uh, I hope that you found this useful and see you next time.